Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm part of the team that helped put together the MyCS MOOC, and I'm going to be helping you through a series of puzzles that will teach you the basics of Scratch. And to get started, we're going to go to the first level of Scratch puzzles built here. Now these puzzles in this studio area are meant to just provide a basic start to how we use Scratch as an interface for programming, creating projects, animations, and more. So to get started, let's click level 1.1. This page is the project page for level 1.1. It gives some instructions and some notes on the project, as well as allowing us to play the program as it stands right now without any of our own programming blocks added. Let's see what happens when we click the green flag. Right now, nothing seems to be happening. The sprites, these fish and bubbles, all seem to be standing still. But we can change that by going inside and changing the code. So right now, we have the sprite Sydney selected in our sprites menu. You can see Sydney in what's called the stage area up here, which is where all of our animation and action is going to take place. And we'll be controlling the animation and action using the scripts area over here by dragging and dropping blocks from this blocks menu. To get started, we'll be using the blocks mostly from this more blocks area. These have been specifically designed to help us finish these puzzles in order to help Sydney move around and win the puzzle. They are related to the motion blocks up here, but we're not going to use those for now. So how do we solve this puzzle? To start, we're going to create a program that takes Sydney three squares, one, two, three, to the right, taking it from the start bubble to this end bubble. Then we'll use the win block to indicate that our program is done. So to make this program, we'll be dragging three of these blocks that say right over to the right side to our scripts area. This creates a program that when the green flag is clicked, we'll move Sydney right three squares. Then, this is important, we add the win block to the end to confirm that we have in fact finished our puzzle. So let's see what happens when we hit the green flag. Great, so this solved our puzzle. Some additional fun facts about how we use Scratch. If you ever want to create a copy of some code that you've already written, of a program or script that you have over here, you can right click and then click duplicate to get another set of blocks that matches the first one you have. Whatever you duplicate will correspond to all of the blocks attached below whatever you hit duplicate on. Additionally, if you need to get rid of blocks, you can drag them over to the left back to the blocks area and they'll get stored over there. If you ever want to test movement or other blocks without actually having it be a part of the program, you can actually just click the blocks over here. This can be especially useful if, for instance, Sydney is not on the start bubble and you want him to go back there. You can hit the reset button to take him back to start. That's it. Now you can get started solving the rest of the puzzles for level one.